Fewer Americans are dining out, booking vacations, even getting haircuts. All a, a lot of new signs that we're spending less money. I mean, so what does this mean for the big picture when it comes to our economy? I spoke with Washington Post economics correspondent about what is going on. Take a look. All right, so what are the signs that people just are not willing to spend the money that we were, say, just a few years ago? Well, we know for several weeks now that people have been cutting back on the amount of stuff that they buy. Mm -hmm. Retailers like Target have said that they have this, you know, backlog of inventory that they can't sell, that they're having to mark down. So that's something we kind of knew. What's new now is that people are also starting to think twice before spending on services like vacations or dining out, haircuts, things like that, that they hadn't really pulled back on before. Okay. All right. So those are kind of the things that might be shocking economists right now. I mean, is, is there anything else that you're looking at the data and you're going, whoa, this is unprecedented? I mean, the data is interesting because overall services spending is still up compared to last year, but that rate at which it's growing is slowing. So it's a little bit nuanced, but on the ground, anecdotally, you know, um, hair salon owners tell me that people, instead of going four weeks in between haircuts, are going eight or 12 weeks. They're mm -hmm. tipping less. They're kind of thinking twice and saying, hey, is there a way you could, you know, lower that price for me? What can I trade down on? And so we are starting to see signs that people are saying, hey, this kind of spending may not be sustainable, where can I start to cut back? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I feel that because I think I went from five weeks between haircuts to now seven weeks. <laughs> The viewers probably notice sometimes they're going, what's going on with her hair? Uh, you know, uh, we've been, we report these headlines all the time. The price of groceries and the price of airline tickets. And I mean, big picture wise, what is the long term implication of this? Well, it has huge implications. And right now, the thing that economists are most worried about is a recession. Mm -hmm. um, consumer spending makes up two thirds of the economy. And so it's a huge part of sort of how the economy functions. And as soon as consumers start to pull back, that can set into motion a whole host of things. You know, it can lead to higher joblessness. It can lead to um, many other factors and eventually possibly even a recession. And so that's the big fear right now. Mm -hmm. And my other, my other question as a consumer, you know, I, I feel this right now, um, the prices go up and up and up, but will the prices ever go back down? Is it, will we ever feel any relief? What's next? That's a great question. And that's what the Federal Reserve is trying to engineer right now. They're trying to slow inflation. So they've started raising interest rates. Um, we're starting to see slight signs of snowdown in the housing market. And eventually the hope is that that's going to trickle down and is going to start camping down on prices for other things as well. Um, but if, if for the short run, it's inflation, inflation, inflation. And it seems to be getting worse in, in, certain, um, in certain parts of the country. Yeah, I mean, it certainly does. Everything just feels so expensive right now. I mean, what would... Is there anything we can say to ease consumers' minds at this point? Um, honestly, you know, I know gas prices are a big concern for many consumers. Mm -hmm. That's sort of where you feel inflation the most. You fill up your tank every week or twice a week, and you really notice it. And on the horizon, there's just little relief. Some analysts are even expecting average um, gas prices to go up to $6 wow. a gallon by, by August. So it, we're in for a pretty tight summer. Um, the news is not great, <laughs> but we're going to do our best um, to hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. Abba Badarai, thank you so much for the perspective. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.